The menu screen has six options. New game starts a new game load game available only if game has been previously saved loads a previously saved game save game available only in game once started saves the state of the current game player character levels experience earned gold earned location and non-player character status canceled available only in game once started returns the player to the overworld flash dungeon screen status displays characters status and information inventory displays characters inventory and equipped items Character creation general navigation the up and down keys will move between the three menu options of select class, select name and create. While in the select class and select name options, the left and right keys move between options. Select class using the left and right keys, you can choose between one of the three classes in the game. Soldier, Wizard and Healer. The screen will advise you on the different attributes and abilities of each class, but in short, Soldiers have high damage attacks and good survivability due to having very high strength and health point attributes. Their special ability and attribute, however, is weak. Wizards have rather poor stats when it comes to strength and health points, however, their special ability is very strong. Healers are balanced in that they have decent strength, special and health point attributes. Their special ability is to heal the party. Select name using the left and right keys while in select name move through alphabetic characters to name your characters. The fire button blocks the selected character in and moves to the next character for selection. Create once you are satisfied with your choice of class and name the create selection creates your character. Once you have completed this step for both characters the overworld screen will be displayed. Status screen The status screen simply provides information on each character on the team. It displays the appropriate class sprite, character name, class, strength, special, health point, level and experience attribute for both characters. Inventory screen general navigation the up and down keys will move between the inventory items. The left and right keys move between menu options at the top. Menu options the menu options are as follows. E keys equips the selected item if item can be equipped. Players can both equip the same item. Rem remove the selected item from the equipment slot del deletes and removes the selected item from inventory and from the equipment slot cnl. Cancels back to the menu screen changed character. This item is hidden, but when scrolling using the left and right keys, once the character and their stats are yellow you can change characters by pressing the fire key. Note. If you delete an item it is gone, there is no ability to recover deleted items. Be careful if you are deleting items. Buying items general some NPCs may sell items, you must initiate dialogue with them to find out if they sell items, if they do, the store screen will be displayed and items can be purchased. General navigation the up and down keys will move between the items for purchase. The left and right keys move between menu options at the top. Buying items generally, as long as you have sufficient gold and do not already own the item. You can use the up and down keys to navigate to an item you wish to purchase and press the fire key with buy selected to purchase the item. A message will be displayed at the bottom advising you of whether or not you were successful in purchasing the item. Note. You need only buy an item once. Both characters can share items and equip them at the same time. Overworld Flash Dungeon Screens Direction The overworld is a scrollable world you can travel in two dimensions. You can use the directional pad up, down, left, right buttons to move in corresponding directions. Non-player characters Non-player characters and PCs are located in various locations on the map. 
There are generally two types of NPCs. Friendly NPCs, Enemy NPCs. To initiate dialogue with an NPC move toward them and press the fire key. Once you've read the dialogue press the fire key again to close the dialogue. Note. It is not necessarily easy to distinguish one from the other, so players must use caution when approaching NPCs and initiating dialogue. Enemy NPCs trigger mandatory battle sequences after their dialogue is complete. Treasure chests Treasure chests are located in various locations on the map. They appear as follows. Press the fire key to open the treasure chest. The dialogue window will display. Once you've read the dialogue press the fire button again to close the dialogue. Obstacles Obstacles will sometimes prevent you from moving further, so you may need to find an alternate path if obstacles are in your way. By default players cannot walk through walls, trees or water. Random encounters In addition to battle sequences in enemy NPCs, random battle encounters are triggered as players move around the map. Battle screens layout The battle window is broken into five sections. Player sprites, NPC sprites, player info, NPC info, factions. Battle screen actions You can use the directional pad up and down buttons to select actions. The up key goes backwards through the list, whereas the down key goes forward. Selected actions will have a yellow box around them and the text color will change from white to yellow. Players can't choose from for actions. Attack Attacks the selected NPC target. Attack does a base amount of damage determined by level, equipment and class. Attack hit rate is 95%. Special Attacks the selected NPC target with a special ability. Each class has a different special ability. The Solitaire's special attack will never miss, but is sometimes lower than the regular attack due to randomization. The Wizard's special attacks can do large amounts of damage, especially with the right equipment or a high level. The Healer's special attack does not damage target NPCs, but instead heals the entire party. Attack hit rate is 100% defend. The player defends. All damage is reduced by 50% and the attacker is counter-attacked for 50% of the damage taken by the defender 25% of the original amount flee. The player attempts to flee from battle. Each player who flees has a 10% chance of fleeing successfully, unless facing a boss where it is 0%. However, the player takes 200% damage from regular attacks meaning that if fleet is not successful immediately the player will not likely live long. Note. Players can fleet from all random battle encounters. However, players cannot fleet enemy NPC encounters that they initiate. Battle screen targeting You can use the directional pad left and right buttons to select targets. The left key goes backwards through the targets, whereas the right key goes forward. Selected NPCs will have a red circle underneath them and their information will be displayed in the NPC info text box. Selecting action and target Once you have selected your action and target, you must press the fire key to lock in your choices. At this point you will be able to make choices for your second player character. Once you have selected your action and target for the second player character, pressing the fire key will lock in your choices for them and initiate the battle animation. Battle animation screen Player characters always begin battle first, giving the player an advantage. 
The first player character will perform their selected actions, followed by the second player character. As the players perform their selected actions, the health and status of the targets is monitored to remove them should they die. Similarly, the first NPC will perform their selected actions, followed by the remaining NPCs. As the NPCs perform their selected actions, the health and status of the targets is monitored to remove them from battle should they die. Note. If a player or NPC is selected action against a target that is now dead, the player or NPC will instead target the remaining NPC or player. If you are successful and defeat all NPCs in the battle, the victory screen will be displayed in place of the action icons. If you are not successful and are defeated by the NPCs, the game over screen will be displayed. Victory screen players receive gold and the characters receive experience points XP for each NPC they defeat. Both gold and XP received as a result of a victory will be displayed in the victory screen. As player characters earn XP they will increase in level and this is also displayed in the victory screen. After battle all player characters health points are fully restored.